Movies have long used genetic mutation as a storytelling device. But genetic mutation is a real thing. And sometimes it grants real people with real abilities. So in today's List Bomb, we cover the top eight beneficial genetic mutations. Starting off our list today at number eight, malaria resistance. Italian researchers studying the population of the African country Burkina Faso found a mutation in the blood of some residents. It reduced the risk of catching malaria by up to 93%. Number 7. Resistance to Heart Disease In the 1980s, a small Italian community was found to have a mutant version of a protein which is associated with a decreased risk of osteosclerosis, heart attack, and stroke. Since this discovery, pharmaceutical companies worldwide have been working on preventative medicine that mimics this genetic mutation. Number 6. Increased Bone Density Some people in the world have a genetic mutation that causes their bones to be significantly denser and stronger than average. One doctor who studied the condition said, none of these people, ranging from ages 3 to 93, have ever broken a bone. In fact, they seem resistant to not just injury, but normal age-related skeletal degeneration as well. Number 5. Super Endurance Finnish Olympic skiing champion Iro Mantiranta, along with his extended family, had a mutation which allowed them to carry 50% more oxygen in their bloodstream. This mutation basically gave them super endurance powers. Number 4. Super Strength this boy, by the name of Liam, has a rare genetic condition in which his body doesn't produce the protein myostatin. Myostatin inhibits muscle growth, and because he and others lack it, they're able to put on massive amounts of muscle, far easier than anyone else. The only downside to such a condition is you need to eat a lot to support it. Number 3. Needs Less Sleep after conducting genetic tests on sleep participants, University of California San Francisco researchers were able to locate a mother and daughter who shared an abnormal copy of a gene known as DEC2. This gene affected the circadian rhythm. The result is they're short sleepers. They need far less sleep than the average person. This genetic disposition may affect as much as 5% of the entire population. Number two, resistant to HIV and the Black Plague. In the 1300s, the Black Plague ravaged Europe and killed millions of people. However, there were some people that no matter how much contact they had with the infected, they didn't manifest the sickness themselves. No one knew why this was. They assumed God had protected them. Now jumping forward hundreds of years to the 1980s when the AIDS outbreak was underway. A story comes about of a man who received a blood transfusion infected with the HIV virus. The fact that the man had not contracted HIV astonished doctors, and for many years they researched and came upon a startling discovery. Some people in the world have a genetic mutation in their immune system that protects them from contracting HIV and the bubonic plague. This mutation is extremely rare, and it requires both your mother and father to carry the mutation in order for it to be passed down to you. And your number one genetic mutation is hyperphotographic memory. Everyone's heard of the term photographic memory. It's where a person can recall what they read or see in extreme detail. The catch to photographic memory is the person must commit things to memory. However, a person with hyperphotographic memory remembers everything, every little detail. The wind direction, the sun's location in the sky, the tone of your voice. One woman described it as followed. Rifling through her memory is similar to viewing little videos moving simultaneously. When somebody gives her a date or a year or something, she sees all the little movie montages on a time continuum. Now, personally, I think this would be one of the most awesome things to have. I would love to have hyperphotographic memory myself, but unfortunately, there are only about 25 confirmed people in the entire world that have this condition. So now for today's question. If you could have any genetic mutation, not just the ones on today's list, what would it be? What kind of ability would you have? Leave your comments below.